Hi everybody, my name is Mason Everett. I am a second year veterinary student at the Texas A&M College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a suture removal. Okay, so prior to removing our actual sutures, we want to check our incision line and make sure we're not seeing any redness, swelling, or drainage. In the event that we do, we want to immediately alert a veterinarian so they can go ahead and probably change up the treatment plan. We also want to make sure that we have uniform closure of our incisions on either side. Sometimes they can kind of have a pocket that gets left open and we don't want to take the sutures out if that is the case. So in the event that we see any of those things, we want to alert our veterinarian, but today we're not seeing those issues so we can go ahead and proceed with our actual suture removal. So first I need to wash my hands. I'm not going to do that today, but just pretend that I washed my hands and then I'm going to put on gloves. And prior to cleaning our incision line or our sutures, I am going to make sure I have a count of the number of sutures that are in the animal so that we make sure we get them all out. So today we have one, two, three, four, five. Now that I've counted, I can go ahead and clean the incision site. I will use an alcohol prep pad just to make sure I get off any dirt or debris that may be on the incision line. And then I will go ahead and place a gauze pad on the patient's chest. When we remove our sutures, we're going to go ahead and place them on this gauze pad so that we can keep count of how many sutures we have removed at this point. So now I need to decide what instruments I want to use to remove the sutures. Particularly, we want to use suture scissors. And you can identify these by the little curved notch on one side. And then we also want thumb forceps. And these can be identified from other thumb forceps by the little teeth, rows of teeth that they'll have. And at this point, we are ready to actually remove our sutures. So I can take my suture scissors and I will hold them with the curved portion down. That's gonna allow me to get underneath those sutures and actually cut them and then I can hold my thumb forceps. So I'm gonna use my thumb forceps to pick up that suture very gently, and then I can get that curved portion of the suture scissor underneath and gently cut it close to the skin. And then I want to uniformly remove that suture. So very gently, one steady pull. And then, I'm, as I said, we're gonna place that on our gauze pad so we can keep track of them. And then we will just repeat. So once we have removed all of our sutures, we can take our gauze pad and count our sutures to make sure that we have removed all of them. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we can be sure that our patient is ready to go home.